We are gonna play Would You Rather. It's one of my favourite drinking games. Obviously, we're not gonna be drinking. Ooh, why am I not drinking? Well, we can if you want to. You I just playing the game. Right, he's, he's good. <laughs> Hi guys, OB Dave here. African Ash. Merry Christmas. Indeed, Merry Christmas. Uh, Christmas tree and everything slight. Christmas came early for me as well. Santa on a unicorn, sparkle all the way. <laughs> I couldn't find my Christmas jump no. anywhere, so I'm wearing some <laughs> OB merch. Head over to the Office Box merch store. Um, what are we going to do? Uh, we are going to go to... Uh, well, well, oh my God. We're going to go. Did we just do that? Yeah, we did just do that. Right. That's well, why awesome. my hair's a mess. Um, <laughs> We're going to play Would You Rather. It's one of my favourite drinking games. Obviously, we're not going to be drinking. Ooh, why am I not drinking? Well, we can if you want to. You're I just, playing the game. Right, he's, he's good. <laughs> so, obviously, Would You Rather is a series of questions that we ask each other and debate the answers. And I think it's a really good insight into people's personalities. But it was, wasn't going to be a drinking game. It's going to be a drinking game now. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> What are we having? Oh, oh, you're having. Yeah, good, because I'm drinking. Do you want drink. a pot? No. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> Maybe. Maybe in a bit. Phew, that was a close one there. <laughs> Cheers. It was a, a drinking game we used to play at uni, and it, it sparks loads of debate. It's right. really, really good. So I'll go with the first question. Are we taking it in turns to ask each other yeah, questions? Yeah, yeah. Right. So. Screw that way a bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> would you rather be forced to sing along or dance to every single song you hear I'd sing along because I, really? I pretty much do anyway even to really bad pop songs when I'm in the car on my own I sing to absolutely everything I was do, singing do you to, mumble when you don't hear the, if you don't know the lyrics yeah. and you go, mum, 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 mum. I was singing <laughs> I'm not even uh, not even joking about this. In the car today, I was singing to "It's Raining Men." Oh, they, I'm so proud of you! That song. They, they, they put it on on Radio One as a like. Um, they did this hero thing where you nominate a hero and then they pick a song. Yeah. And it was on, and like, I'm just driving without realizing. I'm like, I'm fully singing along to this now. So I find dancing more embarrassing than I like singing. <laughs> so I'll sing to absolutely everything. I'm, I'm alright with that. I'm not a very good singer, but. What about you? I would so dance, like seriously. Every song you hear. Every song. Even if it was proper slow, I would really enjoy doing just like a really awkward, like slow dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like my favourite move is definitely the monkey. Do the monkey with me. The monkey. Johnny Bravo. Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. mama. <laughs> I already practically do sing everything though, as you do know. You? Like, well, everything with the kids is a song. It's true. Bedtime's a song. It's like now, because you sing the Captain Underpants song so much, it is trapped in my head. And I'm not kidding. I picked up a colleague this morning and, the, and he opened the door. I was first thing I've been, tra la la. <laughs> Nice. Random. Nice. Right, so your turn. So there's loads to obviously choose from. Just help yourself. Right then. Would you rather <laughs> have telekinesis, which is the ability to move things with your mind, for mm -hmm. anyone who doesn't know, or telepathy, the ability to read minds? I already know my answer to this. I, I would say telekinesis. I don't want to know what's going on in people's heads, but the only reason I say that is I don't know if there's any fans out there, but True Blood, when Sucky. So I read this. I read the series. Anyway, it's basically vampire porn. So if you're interested in that, it's really good. Uh, <laughs> it's, necrophilia, you mean? No, it's super hot. Like it's necrophilia, the dead. I suppose. That's disgusting. Ash watches necrophilia. Uh, Not in the same way. Then you can say that about all the Twilight fans. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come at him. The, come at him. the people into the werewolves <laughs> and the furries. And then the rest are into necrophilia. In the yeah. comments, come for him. <laughs> <laughs> Brutalise him, ladies. Because <laughs> I am. I'm shocked. But yes, yeah, so she can read minds. Yep. And all the time she hears of like men like thinking about doing things to her. And some of the thoughts she hears is horrendous. The thing is... So I think I'd rather not know what people thought of me. Telekinesis, absolutely. Because how useful would it actually be? I can day just imagine day. you sat on the couch and going, remote. <laughs> yeah, precisely. It'd be absolutely amazing. Knowing what everyone thinks would drive you insane in a yeah, matter of weeks. Everyone has thoughts. Everyone thinks about killing people while they're driving. I know. When someone does a very minor infraction to your life. That's it. Everyone has these weird invasive thoughts. You like, get locked up. If, if your thoughts were permanently 
available to the world, Agreed. everyone would get locked up or at least cancelled because they thought something they shouldn't oh, think. Oh, yeah, it's like it's like the. <laughs> It's like we've all had that thought of just like stepping off the side of a cliff. It's like, I wonder what happened when mm. your whole body stops you and you're like, no. Yeah, or well, what happened if but it your just, brain tells you? Just gave someone a well, little yeah, dink exactly. that's on the edge. Don't. I, <laughs> we all have those thoughts, so yeah. Precisely, so we agree on that. Yeah, like Anita's. definitely. Yeah. Okay. Right, let's find a good one. Oh, 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 okay. Would you rather be in jail for five years or be in a coma for a decade? I think I'd rather be in jail for really five years. Yeah, but you could get fit. You'd do all, like you'd have loads of time to study something. You could take yeah. up a new hobby and get things. laid quite a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Make the best of it. Make the best of a bad situation. You know, and embrace it. Um, yeah, I think. And never be able to sit down in a coma for <laughs> ten years. You, you, your muscles would atrophy that bad that when you when you wake up. Yeah, it would be pretty rough waking it, up. You'd you'd probably have a year or two of rehabilitation just to be able to live your life again. See, I I would feel I would rather go for the um, Cause, the coma because it's quicker. No, because like it's like you just go to sleep and wake up. But so then, you could miss like a decade of these snowflakes. And all the annoying teenagers and just, like, come coming back. too. And there's, like, loads of technology change. Like, considering how fast our generation is, like, progressing. But you might be obsolete. You might... Things may have progressed that far that you come out of a coma and you're just a dinosaur compared to everyone. Yeah, but then what if they put, like, my head in a jar like in Futurama? Then I could just always be around. If I'm obsolete, then just obsolete. I don't, mean, I don't mean your body. Oh. Your body would never be obsolete. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, some no. Christmas flirting <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah I'd, I'd go to prison for five years Fair I'd, enough. I'd, I'd rather still be we adapt as humans yeah. why would you adapt to your environment True. so I'd rather still have those five years of my life albeit under shitty circumstances than completely lose ten years of my life I don't know I went to a Dominican convent for a school so I know what prison's like <laughs> Fair play. I was raised by nuns. And I also know what prison's like. I was going to say, can you can you tell with all the tattoos and the piercings and the bad attitude? Nuns raise me. I'm mm. not as innocent as I look. <laughs> no one is that's raised in a convent. No, we're all nutters. It's yeah. because we get so re- like restricted. It's interesting that we do, we sort of go we disagree on that though. Yeah, I, w- I would, I would. <clears throat> I think it's just because, I, like I said, like especially being at boarding school. And being trapped in a place and being told to do things a certain way and not being able to walk on the grass because I wasn't a certain age yeah. or in a certain year. That's what prison would be like. It'd be like, you're the new one in here. You can't do this and you're my bitch. Whereas if I'm in a coma, I'm out. So you yeah, but have you seen Kill Bill? Yeah. She doesn't have a good time being in a coma. Yeah. But that's like one in like a billion. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this one's good. Okay. Uh, would you rather be chronically underdressed or chronically overdressed? Overdressed. Overdressed. I, I, you know me. I hate showing my body. But we're we're assuming that this is okay. You're not going to get put on a register. Oh, so, like, so if, like, if I was on like, a nudist beach type of situation, so like if, if, it's if allowed. You, yeah. Okay. That's the way I because it, it'd be weird if you're just walking around naked everywhere. You'd get arrested in a minute. You'd be all right. I'd get arrested. With, with the weather? Minute. Because. You'd because I hate, I hate being overdressed in the, in the heat. I would be chronically underdressed because you can always put a blanket on, whereas when you're overdressed, there's nothing it you can do. It doesn't say that in the rules, does it? Well, yeah, it's not chronically underdressed, but you're not allowed blankets. But no, I'd walk around naked. I love being naked. <laughs> I don't. I'm, I like I'm, being I'm not, naked. I'm not particularly happy with my body at the moment, but I, I still prefer... I, I, I like not wearing clothes. I like your body. I like you naked too. Thanks. I don't like being naked. <laughs> So we disagree on that one, yeah. and you'd be overdressed. You get colder, don't you? I do. I'm I, I I, even hot. though I've been in this country 18 years, I still cannot get used to this weather. Mm. And it was minus 8 last week. It's the coldest. I actually worried my oil would freeze in my car. It was minus 10. <laughs> really? Down here? I, I had four nights. See, in Manchester, it only got to minus 8. That was the coldest. I had four nights, on the, four mornings on the bounce where I went out, and it was minus 10 when I went to the car. Would you rather have Beyonce's talent or Jay Z's business acumen? I'll sing this. Jay Z's a talented guy as well, though. So yes, but he's saying business acumen. 
Well, he... He is very smart business-wise. He sold... Uh, no, I was going to say Beats, but that's Dr. Dre, and then not Jay-Z. Not but Jay-Z is a billionaire, uh-huh. isn't he? Uh, he owns loads. I think Jay-Z. Fair enough. Because you can't get by John Talent alone in life. I don't like a Beyonce. Yeah, but she's... She makes more so many it. royalties off of every do, do, song. Do, do you think Destiny's Child just happens to start one day based off pure talent, or do you think a producer initiated it and there was a lot of luck involved and a lot of other stuff as well it, talent is not enough nowadays not nowadays not. but remember <clears throat> she's from like the 90s when talent was a thing it still is a thing but I just think to be smart and be able to figure it out is you say Beyonce stupid oh no. mess with the Queen Bee <laughs> no, I'm saying she's stupid. I don't know anything about her levels of intelligence I don't care fair enough either I don't care like, I like her don't get I, me wrong I, I get it cool. I get it though because your personality you were definitely mm. more suited to being like business and achieving and success whereas I'm just like I'll oh, sing ladies <laughs> I would totally totally how rock how many Beyonce ridiculously talented musicians playing covers bands at the weekend and making no money so many how many artists. crazy talented artists yeah. make paintings that no one's ever going to buy yeah but that's, it's that's who you know point. not what you know sometimes and that's where the business side of it comes in okay so well, we make the perfect pair then, because then you could be my businessman and I can be a little booty shaker. Fair <laughs> I think that's that's fair. I think people would rather see that. I know. Right. Yeah, I think, I think <clears throat> you shake your booty. I've seen you twist those hips. I got some good glutes. <laughs> uh, right. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to find a juicy one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather... All right, I was going to go for a funny one, but I'm going to go for a different one just because I've got a fun just fact it, about yeah. it. Okay. Would you rather cuddle a koala or pal around with a panda? Pal around with a panda? They're so dozy. They're like the derpiest creatures. That would be so much fun. Like 90% of koala bears have got chlamydia. So that's, that's true. A, that's I heard a, Steve, Steve and son say that. What's yeah. his name? Yeah, uh, I can't remember. Can't remember his name. That's terrible. But um, yeah, Junior so, Irwin. <laughs> so, so without a doubt, panda. Yeah, they're just, they're just so stupid and so cute. <laughs> yeah. See, so it wasn't the most exciting one, but I just wanted to talk about um, chlamydia. Koala, chlamydia. <laughs> sheep have got it as well. A lot of sheep. I don't even want to go into all the jokes about <sighs> certain cult people that are known for sheep shagging. Welsh people. And New Zealanders. I heard Americans say that the Scottish are known for it. Really? And on a podcast, and I'm like, no, that's not what we say over here. No. Scottish are just gruff and drink a lot. That's what the British usually think of the Scottish. And also, away with the fairies, come on, their national animal is a unicorn. And mostly Scottish, don't forget. I know. But I can handle you, I'm African. <laughs> <laughs> fair play, fair play. I, I, I think we do two more yes. okay. juicy ones. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Okay. Mm, no. <laughs> I actually printed off loads of these thinking about it in my laptop bag, but they're like sketchier ones. Oh, you have to bring those ones out. We'll have to do this again then. So, yeah. <clears throat> oh, well, this is a tough one. Oh, I don't know about. Okay, gives me the heebie jeebies. Would you rather get a paper cut every time you turn a page or bite your tongue every time you eat? Paper cut. Oh, no. I love eating so much that if something wants to ruin eating for me, I might as well just jump off a bridge. Yeah, but it doesn't say how hard you bite your tongue. Like, no, every, every, time, time. <laughs> every time it's like, oh, and just, it'll suck all But it doesn't say, it doesn't say oh, oh, it just says every time you eat, it doesn't say every single bite. Yeah, so you still, still could enjoy a meal, just one bite. You'd either tongue. have to start the meal off by biting your tongue or be anxious for your whole meal about <laughs> when you're going to bite your tongue. <laughs> So the family guy when Stewie says that Brian can get him back and he spends the whole yeah. episode yeah, like stressing out. I hate anticipation, so I'd rather, as soon as I walk up a burger, just go oh. and bite my tongue and See, eat. I've had far too many paper cuts and it proper gives me, like... It doesn't bother me. It's annoying. It stings. <laughs> it's the sound and it's the feeling. It is... Uh, goes right through me. No, I'd rather bite my tongue. So definitely disagree on that one. No, fair enough. Your last one. I really enjoyed this. I love this game. Yeah, well, just wait. I'll get the ones out of my laptop bag in a minute. <laughs> They're a lot sketchier than this. You know, I love the naughty ones. It's, it's things like, um, I think it's like, would you rather fight 
X amount of toddlers or do something else and like it's, it's a lot well the old age one is would you rather fight a horse sized duck or a hundred duck sized horses duck-sized and there's actually horses. there's actually a YouTube video where someone made like a clip of it and obviously lots of CGI and stuff to see which would be worse Oh, a horse sized duck would be terrifying yeah but imagine a hundred biting kicking okay. horses okay. Boom, boom. <laughs> Not what you mean surrounded boom. with those sharp hooves. Horses really bite hard. I've got two chickens in the garden right now, <laughs> and if there was a hundred of them running at me, it'd make no difference. I'd be like, yeah, because that's a chicken. It's yeah. not an angry yeah. horse. Have you dealt with an angry horse? Well, one that big. Piss off. <laughs> but yeah, that's the most common used uh, one. And it is a YouTube video. Seriously, type into to YouTube. It was brilliant. I still didn't answer the question, though. <laughs> Oh, this is a good one. Okay. Would you rather Danny DeVito or Danny Trejo play you in a movie? It's got to be Danny Trejo. I know. He's so badass. I know, but Danny DeVito is just a legend and he's just so funny. And I'm a lunatic and I kind of think that I would associate more with him than Trejo. So so if someone's playing a movie of your life, Mm. you think is going to be more of a comedy crazy yeah. sort of thing yeah come on have you met me <laughs> my, mine's going to involve like the Mexican cartel more and things like that so Danny Trejo for me definitely can you tell he's more serious and I'm more goofy <laughs> everyone thinks I'm more serious but I'm actually not no you're not he hides it really well he's got the very very I just know how to be pan faced while I'm saying absolute it's nonsense the, it's the British stoicism <laughs> stoicism which allegedly is toxic nowadays to be stoic but <laughs> I say about that uh, yeah I enjoyed that uh, yeah. I think that was pretty good I really do comment section though ask us some would you rathers yes oh my god yes we're going to sign this one off and I'm going to get the, the sketchy ones out of my bag and we're going to go we're going to go again so keep your eye out for that because it's it's good you'll recognise it with the jumper <laughs> yeah. uh, make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff absolutely and follow us on Instagram we're trying our hardest to get to the point of monetization on this channel yeah Which, that would be you nice. know we're not we're not planning on it being crazy or anything it'd be great if it was mm. but to do that we need view time we need a thousand subscribers so it'd yeah. be great if you could share videos watch them all that good stuff yeah recommend us to your families over Christmas and just watch over and over again yeah. I mean I think we're awesome but. I think it's pretty good <laughs> I love how yeah, all it was just a mention of a drinking game. I know, right? Right? Like, right? Yeah. I also like the the way that you stand and you put your hand on your hip and you pick a serious I thought, did you hear my hip just click? I did hear your hip, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting old. Right. Clicking. We're gonna sign off here, so cheers guys, we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. Mm-hmm.